everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy and today I have a very special reveal and it is a Selfridge haul reveal. And the item is, ta-da! This is the, I don't know, twice twin set, clutch, pochette, whatever you want to call it. But um, I like the name twice or twin set. I think it makes a lot of sense. I have it in the emprunt noir and this is my first, very first emprunt piece. And I love it! So there's a lot to tell you about how I got this and big 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 shout out to my girl my very good friend here on YouTube Amy Jo I will link down below her exact video where she explained how she uh, came about uh, Selfridge um, personal shopping and she was just really really helpful it came in this uh, small box actually this is the shipping box that it came in and it was shipped via DHL and it's from Selfridge. It's actually quite a small box. I thought I would have I thought I would have gotten a much bigger box, but I did tell the personal shopper, her name is Scarlett by the way, to not put it in any LV boxes, uh, just in their dust bags and maybe bubble wrap just so that I can save on shipping. You can't really sh save on shipping, but it's just that I actually ordered two things and then she was going to charge me 89 pounds for the two bags because the two bags had um, their own boxes and then it became a little bit bulkier so it was actually more than the their regular shipping which is 56 pounds so i told her no boxes i don't care anyway because um, but she actually surprised me and ended up putting in really tiny boxes because you know the twice is not a really big bag and i also did order the favorite which i sold to my friend she was looking for a favorite pm so i just ordered it at the same time and she just basically ended up putting in these small boxes and was able to put both of them into this shipping boxes and yeah what a nice surprise anyway so the item came with obviously its booklet and the dust bag obviously you all know how this looks and then the little booklet says monogram emprunt and then it just tells you a little bit about how to care for the leather and here are the tags and it also came with the receipt which you have to request specifically especially because shopping with scarlet she is actually in the selfridge london location so by the way all the stuff it's also an Amy Jo's video. She explained it really, really detailed, so go check it out. Um, you have to request for a receipt if you want the official LV receipt, so I made sure to let her know that. Uh, the orange and the white paper, these are just the packing slips from, from the shipping box, so I just kept it for my own reference. So, yeah. I know I love this bag I already started using it it's been it's already been a week since I received it I was so 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 busy last week and last weekend I couldn't film so that's why this review video is coming in late I know um, my friend has been waiting for my reveal but anyway after I use it for a little longer I will do a proper review of it um, but so far I have nothing bad to say about this bag it's so so gorgeous it does have um, so the hardware I thought that they would all be more shiny but like the button is actually more matte and it's not shiny actually it does say Louis Vuitton on it which I'm not mad about actually because I find that because this button is like the one that you would be touching a lot because you know from opening and closing it um, maybe it's a good thing maybe it won't tarnish as easily or maybe it won't scratch as easily because it's matte it doesn't show um, but then the rest of the hardware such as the zipper pull and the little um, LV here and also the buckle here they're all very shiny so it's the it's the hardware that we're you know always expecting to have or hoping to have uh, the zipper itself though is matte so I'm not mad about that actually I again I think because these areas like the actual zipper and maybe here and the button here do tend to wear more so they decided to put in a matte material which 
I'm actually like really impressed. I, I do like it. Uh, the bag features microfiber lining and the reason why I decided to get this as well is because you all know I love my push up mitts. I love, love, love that bag. It's my favorite holy grail bag in my entire collection. But um, I want to keep it for as long as I can. And I, as much as I love using that bag, there are just days where if it's pouring, I'd rather not use it. Even though I'm not really scared of using it in the rain anymore, I just just prefer not to use it if it's pouring outside. So having a full leather black color bag um, that is very comparable in terms of size. Obviously it's still smaller, but it's still very comparable. I can fit all the stuff that I normally want to bring with me in it. Just is so helpful and it's just it just makes so much more sense for me to have something like this. Um, I love the crossbody style, you all know, and I love the fact that it's not too big, but it really does fit a lot more than I thought. Um, I didn't buy it initially because I, I did see this bag before when it first came out. I didn't buy it initially because at the time I was still using my Emily wallet and my Emily wallet, you know, even though it does fit, I prefer... I prefer not using it in this bag just because getting it in and out is just too fussy for me. I get annoyed so... But now that I have my music out, I actually really enjoy using smaller bags and have no trouble at all um, fitting everything I need. So enough about this bag. Uh, the whole process of buying from Selfridge is very very unique. Um, so you can either email or communicate with your personal shopper via uh, WhatsApp and uh, I guess you just basically ask if she can help you to locate a certain item. Uh, Selfridges is kind of like a whole rent through I suppose uh, of the UK. High-end shopping or maybe like a Nordstrom in the States. High-end sort of shopping department store and inside the Selfridges they might also have their own Celine store or like their own Chanel store or own Louis Vuitton store. So that's um, that's the reason why they were able to procure LVs. Now, not all the Selfridges location will sell the boutique items. So the London one does happen to sell. But there is also another location in Manchester, also a Selfridge that used to ship internationally, but they no longer do. And that is because people ruined it. They used to Apparently, from what I from what I've gathered, is because some people have been claiming that they will ship it outside of the UK, therefore the VAT will be removed. But it, they actually end up uh, keeping the items inside the country, and therefore they stop shipping internationally altogether. Which is a shame because you know that's one less option for us who wants to do personal shopping, you know, overseas and it's crappy, you know. But anyway, so far the London location still does it and um, I'm very glad for that. I don't think that personal shopping overseas like that is for everyone because there is a le level of risk and a level of nervousness, obviously. It And then depending on the item that you buy, they might or might not have it in stock. So, and it takes quite a bit of time, like the time difference alone and then also just the personal shopper herself being so busy, um, it just takes some time for her to get back to you or to even acknowledge that she got your questions and whatnot. Not, so there is definitely that factor whether you um, it would be appropriate for you. The reason why I decided to do it is because I was looking for this bag, obviously. And I prefer my bags to be made in France. Now, in Canada, you can still get it made in France, but it's so rare. Like, it happens once in a while, and it just depends on your luck, really. So, the very few times I've been looking at this bag at our store here, they were made in USA, and I just... Nothing against USA bags. I have a couple of them myself. But I just really want to prefer... Like, I just prefer keeping my collection as made in France as possible. So that was one of the main reasons. And the second reason is because due to our very recent increase, because we already had three increases last year and then we had one new one this year, it just made everything so costly. We pay so much more money compared to everyone else. Um, 
And of course, I know they're adjusting, you know, based on like the currencies of the countries. But locally, we haven't had like, you know, a 30% increase in our salary. So it's like such a punch in the face, right? Every time they, they increase the price like that. So that was, you know, second reason why I decided to try the personal shopping at Selfridge. And, you know, with the VAT being removed, the VAT is 16.6% for Canada. So, I mean, if, if they ship to Canada, they remove 16.66% uh, of, the, of the taxes on their price. So it really does help. And even when it gets shipped here, it even though DHL does add on the duties and the taxes, the local taxes here. So I ended up paying 10% tax uh, sorry, 10% duty on this item and on top of that 12% um, sales tax on the amount, on the total amount, I still ended up saving a bit. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have a little bit of savings but still be able to get the bag that you want to begin with. Like for me to be getting it in made in France. Um, so yeah, that was the story. And I did get also uh, the favorite PM in the Mieben. I did contemplate on keeping that one, but I decided against it because um, in the end it would be kind of duplicate of this one. I obviously sold my Mila Clutch lately just because I wanted to be able to take um, everything with me. You all know my camera is bulky, so. But I'm just gonna mention it again. Uh, so this one really does fit all of it and then kind of replaces the Mila Clash even though they're different, but you know, it's it's okay because I put the money from the Mila towards this. So I'm happy about that. And then um, my friend, my very good friend, she was looking for a clutch from LV and with the recent price increase, it just really, really does affect how willing you're going to purchase you know a new new lv you know like you always of course you always prefer something brand new or like perfect pristine condition but the fact that it costs the extra hundred dollars just like if you bought it you know a few weeks ago the, the fact that i cost the extra 10 percent it just breaks your heart so the fact that i was able to get it at a better price and I just sold it to her um, to the with the cost that I bought it at. All this debate about like how many holes there are on the strap. So mine still has the five holes which is apparently the old how uh, it was before. I know that the new straps now have seven holes. So um, mine still has the five which is fine for me. I have it in the shortest setting anyway. So it doesn't make any difference for me. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you for today. And I definitely will be doing a review on it once I use it a little bit more. I created a new Instagram account where I will be selling um, my personal collection in there. So one of the items that I featured is my Kensington. I know, I know this is so new, like, it, literally is in perfect condition like not even a scratch on the hardware or like the leather or anything just because i've only used it like i don't know three times maybe four times and just only for like local shopping or whatever so i know it smells it still smells brand new it actually smells better than my empreinte bag because my empreinte doesn't smell good actually it doesn't smell anything it just smells nothing but I don't care, it's just a nice bag anyway. Um, so yeah, I already decided to part with this bag even though I know it's like such a beauty. This is also made in France. I bought it made in France. I bought it locally here at our Vancouver store. So if you guys are interested, let me know. It's in perfect condition, 10 out of 10, like not kidding. As new as getting it from the store. And obviously I have all the receipts and the tags and all that. I do love it. It's just that um, after looking at my own collection and like, like I explained in my Q&A video, I, you know, instead of having to add new things in my collection constantly, because I'm not a collector, I really want to really utilize all my items like a lot. And 
this being the newest item I haven't used as much but also um, I guess in the end I still prefer I don't know I in the end I still prefer smaller bags maybe um, I just so I just decided to part with this one so that I can uh, recycle the money so just let me know if you guys are interested and that's it for this video I hope you enjoy my reveal and don't forget to like and thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will talk to you again very soon bye I know the Precious Mrs. is out of stock right now and you may be considered that bag after watching your review anyway what are your thoughts on the Palace BB and the Speedy B 